I suppose the best way to frame this is, in some hypothetical scenario, would you want your boyfriend or husband to take a bullet for you, starting with you? Sure. So I wouldn't necessarily want that scenario to take place, but you're saying in a hypothetical situation where, where, where one of you has to... One of us. Okay. Yeah. So my relationship, my marriage is based off of biblical principles. So mm -hmm. when I ask that question, I say, well, what does the Bible say about it? And the Bible says that the husband's role in a marriage is to love his wife like Christ loved the church. And so that means basically to lay down your life if you have to, because that's what Christ did for the church. He laid down his life. So I guess yep, in a much. hypothetical situation, if my husband was following the principles of the Bible, he would want to do that. So yes. Yeah, but to, to clarify this, though, hang on, I'm sorry, before we can move on on the question, i got to clarify uh, two, two points. First, uh, just for my own curiosity, what denomination are you? I'm non-denominational. Non-denominational, Protestant? Um, I think Protestant's a, a denomination, isn't it? No, 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 it's just... Uh, it, it, I just we won't call, get into I this call myself It's a, not, not important, but I just, I, just yeah. for my own... I, just, I call myself my a follower of Jesus. That's that's it. I don't say I'm okay. one thing or the other. Okay, got it. Um, so so the question specifically is: Would you want in that situation? Would your preference be in that situation that the husband, because you're saying he has a higher duty, correct? So you're saying he has a higher duty, and part of this uh, duty is to protect you, and part of that protection is that he takes the bullet, right? Just to clarify. I would say yes. Okay. All right. Um, I think when you love someone, if you love them unconditionally and... No such thing as unconditional okay. love. When you really love someone, I think it's... You would want to put your life down for them. The only people that get... Only things and people that get unconditional love is animals, women, and um, children. Men would never get unconditional love. We always have a condition under our love. And the reason being, I say that, is because, like, a lot of times, even relationships, girls will do a lot of shit that piss us off. Like, they would do a lot of shit that turn us off and make us lose emotional attraction. But we still love, would do anything for them and love them unconditional. If, in vice versa, if you if a girl get um, emotionally lose emotions for you, she will leave you. That's not unconditional love. That means she that means she only love you if you keep her interested. Not unconditional love. So honestly, it'd be I wouldn't want him to necessarily step in front of a bullet for me because I would give my life for someone I love. Does that make any sense? So mm -hmm. he would want to do that for me as right. I would want to do that for I feel him. I feel the same. I Okay, so I agree with her. I would also do the same. I would do <laughs> yeah. the same for my husband, but yeah. Yeah, but, but, but see, this is why I was really specific on questioning you about be this, because you, you claimed that it was not a preference, but that he had a higher duty. That's a, there's a distinction, and I'm, I hate to harp on this, because the, but details matter, right? So... Does he have a, whether you want it or not, does he have a higher duty to do it from your worldview? I guess I define higher duty, like, to... Oh, so the definition of a higher duty is the uh, prevalence that his duty to jump in front of a bullet takes precedent over your duty to take one for him. Then no. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't understand what you meant, so... Then <laughs> how is that a reflection of the church? I don't understand. Because you started with... Uh, the reflection of the church is that the man is the sacrifice as he is the head of the he, he's the representation of the head of the church which is jesus christ who sacrificed himself on a cross right right so then but my duty so is then so then his duty his wouldn't his duty his higher duty be to sacrifice himself for you if he yes so it's yes and no because i also feel like my position in as a christian or as a that can't be a yes or no question. Not question, answer. Um, yeah, but she is right though. I mean, yeah, like technically the man for his family, but the husband is supposed to die protecting the wife and children. So, yeah, his family. So, technically, yes. 
he jumped in a wave of bullet for you. He jumped in the in front of you. Your bullet is coming. Oh, little, little frog. Someone that loves Jesus is to also replicate him as well. So for me, I don't just say, okay, only the husband has to do this. What I do think it's like non -ex it's non exclusive. What? So so I it's my duty as a Christian that believes in God to replicate what, like basically what Jesus lived. So it's to follow Jesus is to live as he lived on this earth. And so that means to lay down your life for a friend, a husband, someone you love, whoever. That's just the way that it is, like the way yes. that I believe. So I don't want to say my husband, I, I require my husband to do it, and I don't expect myself to also want to do that thing for him, if that makes sense. It doesn't make any sense, but we can At all from him. <laughs> okay. That makes zero sense. I think you answered you um, would take a bullet for him. I mean, but like, do you think, would you date a guy who wouldn't be willing to do that for you? No, because that means that he doesn't like love me in the same way that I love him. If you love someone, you're in a relationship with them, or let's say in a friendship. Like picture, <laughs> picture. If they ask a guy, "Hey, would you date a girl that you want to die for you?" He'd be like, "Nah." You you know how much backlash he will get if he if he say, "I won't date a girl who take a bullet for me." Bro, he would get so much backlash. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> A lot of backlash, real for real. Like this is my best friend. If I would take a bullet for her as well, just as I know she would want to do for me. But isn't this sort of a unidirectional thing? Only one person can protect in this scenario. Only one person mm -hmm. can take the bullet, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, I well, mean, it's whoever's faster at. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Would it be? Um, do you think men would refuse to? date a woman who isn't prepared to take a bullet for them? Um, no, I don't think men necessarily, I don't think they that wouldn't, they don't look to women. I, I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to date you because you're not taking a bullet for me. I would bring up a flag for me because then it's like, wow, you won't even, like, you don't, you don't even love me enough. You, you saying you don't love me enough to like give me your life like you know what i mean it's just like it, it's like an equal balance of love like i love you so much i'll give you my life you love me so much you'll give me your life but if push come to shove life versus life i'm putting my foot down i give mine up for yours you know women for protection mm -hmm. no, yeah. do you think a guy is less masculine uh if he wouldn't be willing to take yeah. a bullet or die yeah, for his I, girlfriend. I, I do. Wife. If okay. there was an active situation where that was happening and he freaking pushed me to the side and like ran away, I would be like, <laughs> yeah, that's him, not right? a man. <laughs> that him. is a little Do you crazy. think men would, at similar rates, if their girlfriend did something similar, like ran off scared, coward, whatever, do you think they would be more or less inclined to perhaps they'd lose attraction or end the relationship for me it depends the situation it depends the situation um like if something like if it's like a, like a disaster like a killer or like alien or like a ghost or like a zombie or an animal something that's like a broad scare and she runs and she screaming runs like okay like okay i like, all right, like, all right okay but if it's like a if it's like a fight you gotta fight somebody she gotta fight somebody and she started it and she runs oh yeah i'm leaving her oh oh the raps the raps you know or she like you know like, that girls go to bars and shit and they and get some girls you got some of your girlfriends talk so much shit but never fight is she one of them? Yep, I'm leaving her. I mean, that's up to them. I heard about Brandy first when I was in seventh grade. The reason why I liked it, because everyone else... Man, um, and... Do you think they would care less, though? That I women think, would care about that? I think women probably do care more okay. about that. Your answer to the question, do you want a guy to uh, sacrifice can his I, life? Can I, I'm sorry, huh? can I jump in just sure. real quick, Brian? Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to ask you a question on this. 
uh, kind of following up on Brian's, uh, Brian's question. Do you think um, that you're an honorable person? Would you consider yourself an honorable person? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that it's appropriate then for who, whatever man you're with to defend your honor? Um, yeah. So if that's the case, if he's defending your honor, that's going to put him in a situation where he could get hurt, right? Yeah, that actually did happen in my relationship. So, so, so then hang on. So then if that's true, then, then you're basically saying that he has a higher duty to yeah. take damage over you. Yeah. So the expectation is not equal that you're going to take a bullet for him, he takes a bullet for you. The expectation is that he's going to take the bullet, right? Because um, you're willing to just put him in harm's way on behalf of your honor, right? I'm not, yeah, willing, not to, willing. I'm not willing to put him in a harm's way in any scenario, <laughs> but well, no, he, but but hang on, you, you no, know, because we just went through it. Answer one: man has a duty to defend your honor because you're an honorable person. You literally said your man has that duty. So if he, he has a duty to, to do this, that means you. Well, hang on, almost done. That do, the entailment of that is that you would be willing to put him in a situation where he takes damage on behalf of just your honor. If Describe someone a situation, situation like that. If someone was attacking my honor, how am I putting him in that situation? I'm not well, going out of well, my because, way. I actually because, have a scenario. Well, well, well hang on. I'm going to tell you how. This. Okay. I'm, I'm going to explain so that you understand. Because your expectation for him is that he has a duty to defend your honor. So if that's the case, if he has a duty to do this, then you have the expectation that he's willing to put himself at risk just to defend your honor. We're not even talking about, you know, a, a bullet at this point. Just your honor could actually get this guy killed, right? Potentially. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, there, there's like, bro, there's multiple times dude died over uh, females, bro. Like, multiple times. Um, <clears throat> the honor and shit, like, bro, like, just calling somebody a girl a bitch. Like, bro, you girl a bitch. Niggas with that dudes die over that shit. Like, they'll get shot and killed over that shit. So, yeah. Yeah. But you could. I also have a duty to defend his honor as well. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to defend it the same way, are you? You're not going to be able to, for instance, if a guy is bad-mouthing him or something, you're not going to be able to walk over and punch him in the face. Uh, it's not going to be very effective, is it? But he can do that on behalf of you, uh, on behalf for, for a male, right? You can, he can verbally defend do that. someone's honor without it leading to violence. Yeah, but that's not what we were talking about. Well, it's Wizard. interesting and, that and you said... And by the way, you hang on, hang on, almost done. And by the way, the situation that you're talking about, when you said that actually happened to me, I'm guessing included violence, didn't it? Um, do you want to hear about the situation? Or? Did it include violence? Well, yeah, but not. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Okay, so, so anyway, go ahead. do you think that he shouldn't then? Do you think that he shouldn't defend well, it's my honor? Well, it's not a question for me. It was a question for you. So I'm just giving you the entailment of your logic. If the entailment of your logic is, wait a second, it's equal. I would take a bullet for him. He would take a bullet for me. And yet, when we get down to the nitty-gritty, you believe that you're an honorable person, and you therefore believe that your honor should be defended by a man. This means, if that's true, that you're willing to put a man in harm's way just for the purposes of your that honor. That is putting we so many words in word. my mouth, but I also <laughs> well, can defend my own honor. Mouth. I'm just giving you I an can also of your defend logic. my own honor, and that is not, that's not how logic works. You can't just say that I'm willing oh, to put Tell me how my... logic works. Give me one, <laughs> give me one rule of the law of yeah. logic. Give me one law of... He, he's not, like, she's taking it as, like, I think he's directly, like, saying she would straight up say that. That's He's saying basically that's what you're saying. What you're saying, and what's for example, like, like, yeah, she want her boyfriend to stand up for it. So if somebody call her a bitch, he will want somebody to stand up for her. She's saying it don't always have to be violent. He can just verbally stand up for her. We understand that, but the situation, but the conversation is about taking a bullet, so it's physical. So let's say he called his girl a bitch. Now it gets to a physical fight. Boom, the dude kill her. The dude like like stabs her boyfriend, right? Now he's injured. He stood up for her honor. She she's he stood up for her. She wanted that. 
she she because she said she was like, bro, if somebody my man don't stand up for me, like he's not a man to me. So she want her, so she wants her man to stand up. She wants her man to stand up for her. My bad. Hold on. My bad. So she wants her man to stand up for her. And so she willing to put him in harm's way. That's what's and that that is what Andrew's saying. So logically, that basically what she's saying, like, bro, like. I'm willing to put you in harm's way just for my honor. But she's not going to understand that because emotionally that's not what she's trying to do. But like face value, like face value is shit. That's really what it is. Logic. One. Um, it's based in fact. In truth. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did, can you give me a single law of logic? Can you? Yes, I okay. think all three are also like this them is all semantic. three in a row. You're putting no, words in my mouth. No, no, I no, also stop, can stop, defend stop. My I'll honor. answer your question. Let me give you You're the laws of logic so that you understand them. Okay. The, the first is the law of non contradiction, the second is the law of excluded middle. Right? Would you like, would you, how many would you like? Would you like to get into informal logic as well? Yeah, go for it. Would you like to get into the law of identity? That's the third law. What else would you like? That's semantics at this point. I No, no, that's <laughs> literally the opposite of semantics. Do you know what semantics are? Because that's not semantics. Okay. Can you help <laughs> Natalia me? Natalia is enjoying this one. <laughs> she uh, has so I much do. More to say. Here, you guys can uh, let, let me just get everybody's answer on this and we can come back. What was the question? I would like to come back. What, what, so <laughs>